morning folks. Well, that certainly uh, warmed me up this morning, taking that down. So the plan is we have to, this. We have to varnish the top this morning, um, get all this bar collapsed and ready to go into the back of the van. And, um, well, that's pretty much today's job. And then also I want to try and start to put the railings up in the beer garden. So we shall see how the weather treats us today. And if indeed uh, the brickwork has gone off enough. Uh, filming in here, unfortunately, has a little bit of background noise because we've got all the beers on to crash chill and the cold rooms are on and the weather's pretty warm even though it's muggy and rainy outside. So as you can see, behind me looking over there he's sat nicely at six and a half degrees tank two's at 11 that's coming down slowly and uh, tank one is also at six degrees whoa is also at six degrees so uh, yeah they're definitely battling the heat in here today so all I'm left to do now actually or the next job should I say not all I'm left to do so the next job is to take everything off the top here. It's all been cleaned down, it all works perfectly. I'm really happy with it, how it's all turned out. We're gonna have to take out all the stuff from underneath. So you can see the kind of the setup that we've got with the auto tilt, the kegs are gonna sit under there. Uh, the pipe work's gonna stay on, so we'll just be disconnecting this kind of stuff. Hey, the drip tray works. Uh, and yeah, once these tank, once this tank and this pump and the chiller are off and away, then we'll get some varnish out. We'll varnish it in place. We'll give it the rest of the day to dry, and it should dry today. It's not too humid. It's just uh, it's warm. And uh, hopefully, this will be all ready and cured to go onto the back of the van. Uh, come start a play tomorrow. And also, hopefully, by that time, we will have the iron railings on the wall. So uh, let's see how we get on today. So first things first, I'm really excited that the uh, railings actually fit in the brickwork. That's a good thing. The next job is to mark everything up, get the holes drilled, get them in position, and hopefully they'll be solid as a rock. what it's all about in it compliments from the passers-by that's why we're doing it that's a good feeling
Well, it was kind of all going to plan. And then something terrible has happened. The brickwork has cracked and I've been putting the fencing up. Now I think I know what it is. On the way into work this morning, I had reservations about a two by two pillar, which is over a metre tall being sufficient to bear the weight of an iron railing fence. So as I was driving to work, I was looking at all of the other pillars that were built around Retford and they all seem to be at least uh, one and a half bricks wide. So it's like, if you were looking long ways down the brick, it's one, two, three, and I'm only one, two. So, yeah, I'm a bit pissed off with myself, if I'm honest. So we've got the railing up. I mean, it looks pretty nifty. I'm chuffed with it. But, because I was drilling into the uh, cement, you can see that we've split that there, but that's not the only place also down here. You see that section there? That's wobbling as well. So, out of the whole block, we've got two areas where the bricks have cracked. And, uh, well, frankly, I think I'm gonna just have to take these four pillars down and do them again. So how do I do that, you might be asking. Well, what I'm thinking about doing is coming into the garden a little bit with it. So we come out another brick and we come so side one more brick, almost. It's gonna be difficult to rejig the size of the railings to get them all to fit. But because I gave us so much room down here for the fixings, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I've got basically 100 mil on each rail to pinch and the bricks are 100 mil wide. So, I think I can do it. I'm not happy, but c'est la vie, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to knock these bastards down and uh, redo them. Bastard. Well, would you listen to that, folks? It is, it is, of course, five o'clock. So I've spent all day outside trying to sort out the problem that I caused in the first place um, by not measuring correctly. But, as I often say, you know, you've really got to just own your mistakes when you make them. And there are two kinds of people in the world, there are those that make mistakes and there are liars. So what I've decided to do is completely eradicate the wall, pillars, clean up all the bricks, which you'll see down here. That's what's taken most of the time, frankly. And then I've marked out where the new block work's gonna go. So essentially, we're gonna go for one block across, one block back like that, uh, on that width actually, and then one block back. So if I lay it out on the floor, you'll get a better impression of the size of what we're kind of shooting for. So instead of having a two by two pillar, we're gonna have this, this kind of effect like that. How do you like that? And as you can see, if we put the 2x2 two two next to it, you'll see that there's a considerable amount more in terms of uh, surface area. And in the centre, I'm thinking about dropping a steel bar down there and then just filling up that centre, central hollow section with cement. And that should then, obviously, give it a lot more stability, prevent it from cocking over. So I've taken all the bricks out the wall where I think they are required to be moved. Still a little bit of movement to do on that one there. That's gonna come across to there. Two bricks to come out there. And then this one will book practically up to the existing railing. 
and there you can see on this side is some of the original wall that was there so yeah not a happy man it's basically a day down the drain kind of rectifying uh, just a miscalculation something as simple as that if I'd have thought that I needed the pillars to be as tall as they have turned out to be upon designing the wall then when I put the foundations in I would have made the uh, made the pillars built in uh, and would have taken it right from the floor up but the way I'm going to rectify the problem means that we're going to have to do a little bit of a half bodge job to try and get it to work oh, but hopefully this time next week it should be problem solved and we can move on uh, get the railings up and uh, forget about the whole situation because that's I think what I want to do I'm not happy about it so that's it for the vlog today folks I'm gonna go home I'm gonna cry in the shower for 10 minutes and then hopefully come back tomorrow morning fighting fresh crack on with the job and uh, put it right so we'll see you then cheers